it's I'm your mom and you're my son, and I am falling in love with him. And your your mom's not even that hot. <laughs> oh, welcome back. I'm Van. We are all the LFR family. Now, you know, on this channel, we don't always just check out what's going on in the news. Sometimes we check out crazy stories that's going around as well. Well, Katarina just now introduced me to something that you guys may enjoy or you may not enjoy. I'm hoping that you enjoy it, though, because y'all are the community. Y'all are the LFR family, and I'm appreciative of you. Hopefully, you click that like button to help move this video along. This video is coming from the conservative twins. And they are reporting on something that apparently a mother is doing that she shouldn't be doing with her son. Yeah, I got a new show for y'all. Got a damn, damn good, good show. show. These dudes do look like uh, Lou Valentino could be their third brother. <laughs> Lou Valentino could definitely be their third brother, man. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all think Lou Valentino could be their third brother. <laughs> Got a damn good show. Yeah. And I don't know what he'll say in this, but he can probably harmonize with them. Like he can hit take the high. Got a damn good show. Yeah. You know, something like that. I don't know. I don't even know how to start with this one. So this woman gives her son up for adoption. I think she had the boy when it was, she was 16. Yeah. All right, so she did the right thing. Yeah, because she had the baby. So you know what? I'm going to give this baby a better life. I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> Cause I ain't about shit. I can't provide. I'm a, hopefully some nice white American family. <laughs> <laughs> These dudes are trolls, man. I'm talking about the top of the trolls. The, the, when you look at trolls, when you think about trolls, the conservative twins, and you think, uh, uh, what's my man name? God dang it! Could adopt this, this, this little little Latino boy. Yeah, give, give him give, a better life, a give, better a life that I can't give him. Yeah, hopefully he can, he can have the Amer he can achieve the American dream. Yeah, right. So nineteen years go by, she run into him again. I guess they reconnect on Facebook. <laughs> I wonder how that happened. It's like you know, you old people used to mess around with you go on Facebook. So I wonder what that crazy uh, girl doing. <laughs> Let me look up. Whoa, she look crazy as hell. <laughs> she probably looked her son up like that. Yeah, yeah. Probably huh. looked him up. And uh, here's a video. Uh, Brace yourself. This is crazy. <laughs> I mean, you're not going to see this coming. I'm sorry. I don't know how you gonna react to this. I'm your mom and you're my son. And I am falling in love with him. He said, are you really? I said, yes, I am. He said, you know what? I was scared to let you know, too. I am, too. He was, too, falling in love with me, with his mom. And I was falling in love with my son. Okay, well, I'm not going to jump to the conclu um, to a conclusion and think that they're boinking or nothing like that. One of my favorite songs, gospel songs, is Falling in Love with Jesus. 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 He's the best thing I ever, ever done. Now, if you can fall in love with Jesus, you can definitely fall in love with your mom in a way that's, you know, a mother and son type of relationship. Like, I love you so much, mom. I'll do anything for you. But not falling in love with my mother like, okay, I want to choke you and, and, and ram you the way I do my girlfriend new. And your, your mom's not even that hot. <laughs> Seriously, and that's their takeaway. Their takeaway is that your mom is not even that hot. <laughs> this man, you shouldn't have said that. You get it? What? Yeah, I get it. What if you get adopted? Yeah, it went over my head at first. I get it now. Yeah. What if you were, you was adopted, right? <laughs> and then you look up your mom, and your mom reaches out to you, your mom's Beyonce. <laughs> like, man, I got the cream pie. <laughs> I got the cream pie. <laughs> no, that's still, that's sick. That's sick. No, no. That's I could your mom. I don't know how. Hey, Kevin, your mom. You remember mama? Yeah, I remember mama. God rest her soul. Mama. Hey, mama. You can put a gun in my head. Hey, I'll hey, 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 look. Hey, mama. Man, come on, man. <clears throat> hey, mama, you looking good today. Man, come on, <laughs> man. You making me feel uncomfortable. Hey, mama. I know this is crazy, but uh, you turning me on. <laughs> hey, dad is at work. <laughs> That's a porno right there. Like they would say, 
Um, like those titles are just ridiculous and they'll try to pull you in that way. It's ridiculous, man. Hey, don't get home for another four hours. You know what we can do in four hours? I can bust at least 10 nuts. Oh my God. I was thinking the same thing. How are these guys conservative, man? I, I see that's, that's the one thing I see. Mm. They have conservative points of views when it comes to um, politics, but they are definitely not God. Well, they I, they probably fear God too. They just these dudes are just man, not in a bad way, not 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 bad. They they good, like the type of that taps into their weirdest self, and they're not afraid to say what falls on the back of their the back of their brain. Sometimes they should be afraid to say it. Like I will say, like sometimes I say things I'm not supposed to say, like the word that begins with an R that I've already said twice that we probably block out. Oh man, shut up! I don't care if someone put a gun to my head, and my brother's on a chair and he's got a noose around his neck. Say if I don't, you, you better sleep with your mom. I'm gonna kill all of y'all. I'm like, well, we gonna die right now because <laughs> still I can die with respect. <laughs> I can still go to heaven. <laughs> I'm like, kill me, do it, do it. They're gonna kill me. Do it, do it. <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> you right there saying, do it. I'm gonna kick the chair for him. <laughs> He said, go ahead and pull the trigger because I ain't doing it. <laughs> hey, that's an article on this. That's kind of crazy, man. Yeah, let me read this article, man. No, let's, let me paint a picture. All right. Your mama holds you for nine months and gives birth to you. No, start from the beginning. Some dude legs your mama down. Oh, yeah, let me start over. Let me start over. Let me start over. You're right. Nine. Dude goes in between your mama's legs. Cream pies. You come out. <laughs> Nine months later, she gives birth to you after holding you for nine months. You give the baby up for adoption. The baby, no, she do like, she look at the baby. I don't want this shit. <laughs> give you up for adoption. Yeah. Then y'all rekindle, and then you cream pine your mama. Let me read the article. I wonder if they do sex. Hey, Kim, what's wrong with you? I mean, you didn't cream by you might as well. It's disgusting. Wow. Wow. We ended up kissing and kissing led to other things. Mother of 30, mother is 36 and son is 19. Fell in love when they met last year for the first time after she gave him up as a baby and say they'll go to jail to defend their relationship. Okay. So clearly he is just as simple as his mother. This is unfortunate, man. It's unfortunate. As a matter of fact, I cannot believe that they're even sharing this type of um, this over the internet. Because this is type, this is the type of thing that that happened in biblical days. It this happened in in the Old Testament <laughs> often. It wasn't something that you were supposed to do at all. Um, but we know it happened. Those of us who know the Word of God know that this happened often. There are so many people in the world to have a relationship with, to raise a family with. And it's unfortunate that people are so selfish and they don't take their mental health seriously at all and end up doing things like this where they don't have to. It's, it's, it's pointless. Obviously, it's sick. It's degrading as hell. And these are just people who don't mind doing the most sick things possible to separate themselves from everyone else. I don't understand why people go out so far on a ledge just to have this be their identity, um, be known for something. And that's exactly what they're doing. This right here, I, I, honestly, I don't even believe it. I don't believe it. I believe that this lady is dating a 19-year-old to make it even more sick because, you know, they just, I don't know. This, this is the same mentality that people have when they just say, you know what? We're just about to go on the killer spree. Yeah, let's let's go do that. Sound it sounds fun. Let's do it. This is the same mentality. What else could it be? I don't think that this obviously is not normal. Even normal was normal today isn't normal. This right here just will it 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 just lets people know that there's a bunch of sick people in the world. And I'm certain that a bunch of people actually love this. They're probably like, love is love. You know, this is beautiful. I wouldn't do it, but, you know, to each his own. All, you know, all them regular sayings that we say when we give people a pass for doing sick sugar honey iced tea. I'm certain that this happens. <laughs> I mean, it is disgusting. Why would you lay on top of your mama and start pumping and sweat? <laughs> Maybe both of them's got social issues. <laughs> they got some kind of issue. 
Uh, let me read this article, man. It's crazy as hell. Go down. They she, face she him look, with, like, look like his mom got some pretty eyes. Let me see her. Yeah, she got some pretty eyes. Like she got some pretty eyes on her. She got a big wide mouth on her, too. <laughs> You know what that mean, don't you? I he don't look see. nothing like his mama. Okay, look, Monica, uh, can yeah, you make it big? I'm going to read just that like passage. his mama. This is child abuse, man. This is child abuse. For real. He's 19 years old, but clearly he's going through some things, and um, and he he was looking forward to meeting his mother. He wasn't looking forward to meeting his mother, M-E-A-T, putting his meat in his mother. He wasn't looking forward to that. He was looking forward to meeting his mom. And he was probably hoping for a mom that was a real mother, someone who was compassionate, someone who actually missed him, raising him, miss raising him, miss, you know, teaching him things that only a mom can teach a, a, a son, not the birds and the bees, not, you know, those type of things, teaching him something that, you know, that, that he can actually take along with him throughout his own journey. Like, you already possibly effed up your life. Why would you go out your way now to eff up your son's life? I don't give a damn if he's feeling you that way or not. He comes in to kiss you like that. You slap the hell out of him. You let him know, yo, what's going on with you? You all right? Like, nah, you way too, way too late to be breastfed. Okay, you're 19. I'm not about to put my titty nowhere in your mouth. Okay, but they're doing all of that. I don't get it, man. I, I this is child abuse in my opinion, and um, and they said they'll go to jail for their relationship. I believe they damn well should go to jail. Not no, not I think she should go to jail for this. And a lot of people who get out there and do irresponsible things, like creating a life immaturely, um, prematurely, they they have this type of mentality that I can do whatever I want to do. And that's the mentality that this lady has. I can do whatever I want to do. I can do whom I want to do. She's 36. It's been 20 years. And she still hasn't learned anything yet. Come on, man. And then who's in her corner? What are they doing to her? What were they doing to her, the people who raised her? What type of support system does she have? Obviously none. Not trying to paint her as a victim at all. But we all know, and I'm talking to a bunch of people right now who got their own stories, and that if people heard your story, someone will probably feel bad. Someone will, someone will probably be upset, angered, you know what I mean? If they knew what you went through as a child or as an adult, they probably will be upset. But at the end of the day, we all have decisions and choices that we make. And for this lady, regardless of what she's been through, to make a decision to have sex, have a sexual relationship with her son that she hasn't seen and that she gave up for ad um, adoption at the age of 16, 17 years old. Yo, this is this is this is horrible. Yeah, we're laughing and joking about it with the with the conservative twins and because, you know, that's what they do. And I enjoy doc humor. Don't don't get it twisted. I do. But. These these people, what are they doing to make society better? It's not cute. It's not cool at all, man. It's not. I'm done with this, man.